when you're proselyting, depending on what mission you go to, even in the city, I preferred to wear rubber shoes. So anything from like good ballet shoes from Crocs that those were my favorite because they're breathable. Um, you don't, some sisters wore stockings or like socks. I didn't like that just because it's really, really hot and your feet smell awful by the end of the day. Um, but rubber shoes are really good. Um, you need to bring other shoes that are good for um, like conferences because you'll have general authorities and like apostles coming and speaking to you. So I had a pair of nice like leather shoes and those are actually nice sometimes during the rainy season because your feet do get kind of cold when they get wet. So. Get clothing that you, you want to look good in and you'll feel good in because like I said before, you want to look professional. The church isn't very well known in France and you need to, you need to, you represent as a Lord. You need to look well, you need to look good. Um, and I had bought in some shoes that were like, were advertised everywhere that were going to last long, had really good foot support, but they weren't the nicest, the cutest shoes. And I didn't wear them because I just, I, I felt like we needed to look professional. So I just went out to like H&M and got $10 flats and just what I would definitely recommend is the little arch supports that you can buy for like $10 and just wear whatever you would wear here in the United States that looks nice and just make sure you have that little arch, arch support in your foot because a lot of missionaries have get like back problems or knee problems or feet problems because they don't have good support. So I definitely recommend that. I would recommend good sturdy boots because it gets really cold in the winter Boots that will keep you warm and keep you dry too. Um, so I ended up getting I ended up getting a lot of stuff there when I because I came in the summer and then I just waited to buy like a coat and boots when I got there. So you can do that or you can bring one with your shoes. Um, kind of different for everybody and depending on when you're going, like it might change with the mission president. But all of the sisters, like we always wore like. They're more common now, like people wear them in Utah. I see them all the time. They're like these $5 rubber sandals with like the two straps going across. And we wore those like every day if we wanted to. But if you have feet problems, then that's like not enough support if you're like walking around a lot. So like in the visitor center and outside of the visitor center, people will just wear those all the time. So uh, for me, like I had like I had like my ankles like kind of struggle sometimes and so I had to wear like normal person shoes so that's something to keep in mind just like good comfy shoes but we are allowed to wear the sandals um, and then I wore um, Crocs shoes just flats that um, for when it got rainy because I didn't want leather shoes to get I mean they were nice but I didn't want them to get dirty so I ended up wearing those the most You'll be, you'll be proselyting and walking all the time. So you want to get a good pair of those like hiking sandals and you'll want to bring a nice pair of flats as well. So you can use for a zone conference for, for church, things like that. Even though you're in the city, you think well, I can get nice shoes and they'll be nice and pretty by the end of my mission, but they will not be because there, while there are sidewalks, there's also a lot of dirt. Like next to the sidewalk, there'll be dirt. And if you're trying to walk fast and go around someone, you have to walk in the dirt or it's just softer to walk in the dirt. So you do that instead of walking on the sidewalk. Um, my shoes were covered in soot by the end of the day, but it was fun. And then simultaneously while you're walking on the sidewalk, you have to watch out for bikers because there are a lot of people that travel by bike and they'll want to pass you on the sidewalk. So we had to figure out with my companion, you know, we'd be walking, we'd say, bicicleta, bike, and then one of us would go in front of the other or just drop behind so the bike could pass us. And we're like, okay. But it took me a good two months to get used to it because my trainer would just pull me out of the way. Bike, get out of the way. So that's something you got to look out for. <laughs> I definitely recommend Crocs. They're not the most flattering thing in the world but I had Crocs and I loved them so much. Crocs are wonderful. I, was, I like brought you know good shoes that I had bought, good walking shoes but I found out when I was down there especially during the summer like I did not even want to be wearing the kind of shoes that I bought in the US and so what is like what all the missionaries do down there um, is buy like what we call here Toms. They're called alpagadas down there and they're like super cheap. They're like 
five to ten dollars down there and you just like put them on you know don't wear like socks or anything because it's like got so hot in the winter or in the summer our winter their summer <laughs> and so I, I ended up buying a couple pairs of those and just wearing them all the time and they were so well so so great because all my other shoes just made me so hot and all like all the sister missionaries wear them it's like the cool thing to do so I would recommend bringing good shoes but buying those down there because they're awesome this is a walking mission and there is no other option and so shoes are really important the the areas aren't aren't too big they're they're pretty small um but you'll still be walking for several hours a day and little flats are just gonna they're gonna hurt your feet they're gonna hurt your knees i had a lot of companions that had to buy really special shoes after a while because they had trashed their feet my feet grew a half size on my mission and I had really good shoes just because it's really hard on your feet um, but just make sure you get you spend the money to, to get good shoes or good insoles I had to use insoles too and your feet will just oh man my feet just hurt so much at the beginning of my mission because I wasn't used to so much walking um, but the, so the shoes are really important I going on my mission was kind of silly and I wanted nice looking shoes. So I just bought like shoes from any shoe store that weren't missionary related or weren't for walking around a lot. And they held up for like two months and then they had holes in them. Um, there's not a lot of paved streets. So my shoes that had thick soles were my favorite things because I couldn't feel the rocks. The ones that had thinner soles, I could feel all the rocks and it like really hurt my feet sometimes. Um, I had boots. I would definitely suggest boots that are waterproof and like it gets muddy because there's no pavement and it rains quite a bit in some of the areas. So it's just good to have boots that are really solid and strong and they're hard to find in Argentina. The clothing and shoes there aren't as well made as here and they're very expensive. So. I was very glad that I had brought in a pair of really, really solid boots.